Update on Major Hurricane Amanda, which is located in the eastern Pacific, the earliest Category 4 storm to ever form in the region, and it now has winds of 155 miles per hour and a pressure of 932 millibars as of 3 p.m. UTC, May the 25th. Current position is 11.7 degrees north, 111.1 degrees west, and the storm is expected to move towards the north in general direction at least, and could possibly intensify to become a Category 5, though that is not on the official forecast at the moment. We expect a peak very soon if it hasn't already and then weakening rather dramatically over the next two or three days um, and dissipate in about five days time not too far from the Mexican coastline though we don't anticipate any real effects on the uh, Mexican mainland uh, but still a very intense storm out there at the moment category 4 high end on the verge of becoming a category 5 storm but whether it gets there is still up for debate so the sea surface temperatures you can see the storms over a rather warm spot at the moment 29 to 30 degrees celsius the sea surface temperatures there which is well above the 26 degree threshold for tropical cyclone development as it moves north sea surface temperatures will begin to fizzle out a little bit uh, but still won't be too bad for the storm so here's the latest shear map and you can see what will begin to affect the storm very soon is high wind shear as it moves towards the uh, north. Um, of course it's depicted by the hurricane icon there, Amanda, and it's expected to move towards the north and it's certainly not going to get any easier for the storm and those red areas are areas of high shear. Even light green and yellow will be enough to disrupt the storm and that will contribute to a very quick weakening if it remains high all the way through there. This is the water vapour image where you can see a rather moist environment around the storm. Dry air out in the central Pacific but nothing affecting the storm itself at the moment. You can see it has a rather um, large influence the storm itself a little bit little pocket of dry air towards its west but I don't think that'll be too much of a concern it'll be the wind shear that will really kill it so these are the um, intensity forecasts by the models uh, the DSHP model takes it to a category 5 storm in the next 24 hours and the LGEM has it as a very strong category 4 storm but that was a little uh, that was a few hours ago so that's already a little bit out of date and perhaps that might push it towards a category 5 as well uh, the um Track models, you can see the forecast here, the green line has the storm stalling and then moving towards the southeast, but generally a good consensus there for northward movement. And this is what the uh, wind shear forecasts say, you can see it going into the high area around 20 to 30 knots of wind shear, which will be enough to destabilise the storm and uh, contribute to its uh, weakening later on. Sea surface temperatures will never be a concern really, always above 26, 26.5 the threshold for cyclone development and the relative humidity is going to remain um, fairly decent as well over the next few days but that will drop a little bit towards the end of the forecast period. So let's take a look at the latest floater imagery. Uh, this is the last few hours of Amanda. You can see how it's been moving ever so slightly towards the west. It is stalling a little bit to be honest uh, but you can definitely see the eye there. Um, a very decent eye I'd say. Strong storm around that central core there and certainly um, if it was over land it would be certainly something entirely different but whilst it's out of sea it's quite cool to watch um, the eye itself has been jogging towards the north very slightly as it moves towards the west but you'll probably see a northward movement becoming a more permanent fixture over the next few hours as we may see some weakening perhaps in around 12 to 24 hours time but until then we're certainly going to remain probably steady but perhaps the storm will even intensify to become a cat 5 that remains to be seen the world tropics right now amanda of course is the only storm out there at the moment but we do have an invest 92b which has moved over the coast of india and that is now not likely to develop there was a small window again where it could have intensified before as it was in the northern bay of bengal but i think there's no chance of that one forming now so 26 storms so far this year, 2014, 11 of those have become Category 1 hurricanes or equivalent, 74 miles per hour or higher, and 6 of those have become Category 3 storms, 115 miles per hour or higher, Amanda being the first one of the Northern Hemisphere this year, um, and the sixth one around the world. 
As always, you can engage in all six of Force 13's outlets. The website will be keeping you updated as the storm progresses and um, anytime there's any storm stuff going on, the, the website force13.com. And you can see the uh, you, um, the uh, video sharing pages, YouTube and Daily Motion Force 13 on both of those. And the social platforms, Facebook and Twitter, which have been rather active today, just search Force 13 on those with uh, regular updates on any storm activity. Um, and you can also have Tropical Weather Chat on Skype at Fool13.